What up, LPU chatters? I'm here in the chat. And uh, I'm excited to be here. So let the questions fly. get some good questions in here. Do you ever wear your guitar pick necklace? Can't say that uh, that's an everyday staple in my wardrobe. Am I comfortable sitting in such a way? Yes, that's why I um, position myself as such. Will there be a different set list upcoming on tour? That's a great question. Um, one we hope to answer ourselves sooner than later. Um, dye my hair blonde like Chester. Um, I actually had blonde hair in high school. Didn't last very long. I also had straight hair at one point. Another failed experiment. For all you curly haired people there, just embrace the curls. Don't go against the grains. It's not going to make your hair happy. Uh, what is my favorite Metallica song? That's a great question. Got a lot of favorites. Uh, probably too many from which to choose. But I can say my favorite albums include and Justice for All, and Master Puppets. A little bit of Ride the Lightning. A little bit of Kill em All. But probably mostly Justice and Master Puppets. Um, if I could have one thing from Africa, what would I take? The answer to that question is friendship. Um, what was my first nickname? Little Baby? Not that I'm a baby, but maybe I was actually a baby when I was, well, I was a baby. So maybe they just said, hey, that's a cute little baby. They didn't know my name. I try not to be a baby as an adult. Last time I did this chat, I was with Jared. So I was actually talking to another human being sitting next to me. I feel like I'm having a really interesting conversation with myself and also with all of you. Um, okay, which song from Hybrid Theory is the most difficult to play? Um, we actually played the whole album at Download in England and there were a few songs that we don't typically play in our revolving set lists. So we had to, um, we had to uh, re refresh ourselves on a few of those. I believe those were Forgotten, By Myself. Um, I hadn't played the album version of Pushing Me Away in a while. They're not physically hard to play, I just had to like really um, hone in all the little changes and timing of everything. Um, and that was a really fun show to play. Um, one of the more challenging ones. Uh, normally when we're on tour, we get into a groove where we don't really have to think, of, well at least I don't have to think about what I'm doing, it more just kind of flows. Um, when there's a lot of material that's new in the set, um, sometimes I find myself thinking about it more, trying not to mess it up. Um, 
let's see. Uh, what do we think about collaboration with Steve Aoki? Um, Steve is super creative, super talented, and um, we've been really lucky um, to work with him again recently. Um, certainly the first collabo was a lot of fun, which is why uh, we, we relish at the opportunity to work together again. Uh, super nice guy, super smart. Um, hope you guys dig the outcome. Um, what did I play with Jacob Dylan? Um, I just played at a uh, charity event this weekend at the Troubadour. And it was actually my first time playing at the Troubadour, which was cool. Um, that's a club here in Los Angeles that's world famous. Um, I've played a, a lot of clubs in LA. In fact, I've worked at a bunch of clubs in LA. I worked at the Roxy and the Whiskey. Um, certainly played a lot of shows there. I used to go to shows at the Troubadour, but I hadn't played there. Um, and I got to join um, Jacob and some other really talented uh, musicians. Um, Stu Patrick that played with the Raconteurs. Um, Stephen Stills performed. Um, uh, Jade, who was in um, Edward Sharp. Uh, which songs did I play on? We played a cover of a Sam Cooke song called Another Saturday Night, which is a really fun song to play. And um, played a song called I Think It's Gonna Rain, which is a ballady one, which I really, really dig right now. Um, it's an old, old song as well. Um, and I just learned it this weekend and got to play with some really great uh, people and uh, raise money and awareness for um, about Crohn's and colitis, which affects a lot of people. And uh, this event was great in terms of uh, both awareness and fundraising um, to help people that are affected by that. Um, um, who would we like to tour with this summer? I'm actually looking forward to playing with a lot of different groups because most of the shows we're doing are festival shows. Um, some of them are our own, um, which is cool. Um, looking forward to going to China. That's going to be cool. Looking forward to going to Mexico. A um, bunch of festivals in the US, festivals in Europe. Um, looking forward to it. Canada, our neighbors to the north, who we love. Um, it's going to be a fun summer. Really looking forward to it. Um, okay, let's take some more questions. Well, we tore a system of a down one day. Um, great question. Certainly, uh, we're fans of their band and um, friends with the guys. Um, and uh, if the opportunity ever presented itself, I'm sure it would be a lot of fun and a lot of people would be stoked on that. Um, great guys, um, saw them recently um, and uh, just fans of what they do. Um, do, 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 do. Someone asked me to speak Spanish. Um, Gracias. Wow, there are so many questions. Uh, someone's asking me to speak Spanish again. Apparently that's a popular request. Um, so, um, we get a lot of requests, and I see them a lot on these chats, about coming to certain cities. Um, you guys want to log in here because the uh, screensaver took hold of the machine. Um, 
a lot of different cities, uh, a lot of different countries. We get a lot of requests. Um, there's Lorenzo. Say hi. Um, yeah, we try to basically go to as many places as we can um, every year. Certainly don't get to a lot of places that we would love to visit. Um, and uh, of course, we spend time here um, in the studio. So it's really a balancing act. And um, hopefully many of you can come see us in one of the many places uh, we're playing. Um, it's actually the, the police. Um, they were coming for Lorenzo. But um, I just told them that um, it was a petty crime. And I'm not pressing charges. So um, I think they're actually headed back to the station now. Um, okay. Wow, a lot of love for Lorenzo. Okay. I'm down with that. Will I grow my hair out again? My hair is getting pretty long. Uh, not that you can tell. Um, but it's been in a process of growth, as hair typically is. Um, how long will it go? Remains to be seen. I feel like my answers are very cryptic. That's either very fun for you or, or very um, enervating. You choose. Um, how do I stay unconventional? Um, well, first of all, thank you. Um, I take that as high praise, as unconventionalism is certainly an underrated quality. Um, to which we all strive. Um, if I'm going to answer that question remotely seriously, I'm going to say um, trying to uh, think about things from my own perspective, uh, to question things, not take things for granted, not just um, uh, accept the status quo all the time. Um, those are certainly, I think, uh, valuable traits that I try to um, employ. So, thanks for a thoughtful question. Unconventional, but thoughtful. Unconventional and thoughtful. Um, okay, some requests for me on Instagram. Um, I know the band has an Instagram. Um, and uh, she probably posts some cool stuff on that more. I tweeted once, but it was just a random, well, seemingly random series of numbers. Um, for those of you who were able to discern what that meant, then um, kudos to you. Um, I kind of felt like I went off, I went, went, went out on a high note. Um, on Twitter, you know, that was such a seminal post, like, you know, just all those numbers. I felt like, how could I really top that? So, um, for anyone who wants to, you know, search back really, really, really far back in the Twitter history, um, who missed that um, historic tweet, um, it's probably buried in the social media uh, blogosphere, or whatever they're calling it, whatever the kids are calling it these days. Um, okay, someone's commenting on my legs. Um, I don't get a lot of compliments on my legs. Um, they're very pale and spelt, um, but um, I won't turn down uh, blatant flattery from anyone. Um, how do I stay motivated to work this hard? Well, as you can tell, uh, I'm not really working that hard. I mean, you guys are doing all the hard work. You're asking incredible questions, and <laughs> the tone of this chat's really evolving. This is like some kind of social psycho psychological experiment, and uh, I, I feel like I'm passing right now. Maybe even um, well, someone in the room said excelling. That might be too generous. Let's just say um, surviving, if you will. Um, yeah, you guys are doing all the hard work, so. Uh, just keep these great questions coming. Someone's asking me to sing until it breaks. Um, I'm happy to oblige if you put on the song right now in your uh, 
home listening environment or whether you're on the subway or wherever you are, um, you can hear me sing until it breaks. Um, uh, do I like Super Mario? I was actually a huge Nintendo fan back in the day and was known to be quite proficient um, at Mario Brothers or Super Mario. Um, I loved The Legend of Zelda. I loved Mike Tyson Punch-Out. All the classics. Um, do I have a tattoo? Um, the usual answer to that question is that I do, and it's a tattoo of a very tiny mole or freckle, but that's actually um, just sarcasm because when I'm pointing to said evidence, it really is invariably a mole or a freckle. And unfortunately, the answer is that I don't have any tattoos. Um, but I'm a fan of great tattoos. Um, some of my friends have great tattoos. So sometimes I'll say, hey, man, those are great tattoos. Uh, uh, what was my favorite Music for Relief project? There have been a lot of them. Um, we just had a great event in Venice, California at the Mobley House. Um, they were really um, generous to host us there. And we announced our new partnership with an organization called Wild Coast. Um, and they do um, environmental restoration work um, on the Baja Peninsula, down in Mexico. Um, specifically, they're working to um, protect mangroves, which for those of you who, who don't know what mangroves are, and I, I, I can admit I wasn't an expert, um, they're like amphibious trees, and they're... Uh, they're, they're super essential um, to protect the coastline. Um, and when we get really strong storms, um, areas where the mangroves have been stripped away, um, those areas sustain a lot of um, devastation. Um, people that live in those areas get, um, uh, get huge effects from these um, weather events. So um, in Music for Relief, we're obviously focused on um, global disaster relief. And one thing we found is that there are things we can do proactively to, um, to mitigate or to lessen the effect of these storms before they happen. One of the ways we can do that uh, with Wild Coast is protecting these mangroves. So um, that's something I'm really excited about. They're, the Wild Coast uh, folks are fantastic. They do fantastic work. And we're really lucky to have great partners um, all around the world um, helping with all the initiatives that you guys support. Um, and since we're on the topic, I'll just say, uh, as far as Music for Relief goes, um, we really envision, envision it as a way for the entire music community to uh, support with global disasters, and that includes all of you watching. And so if you want to go to musicforrelief.org, there are tons of ways that you can get involved, um, even if it's just helping spread the word about um, initiatives that we're all supporting that are super, super essential. Um, and that really improve people's lives when we all get involved. So, and thank you to all the people on here who are already helping with your time. Um, and uh, we're just really grateful uh, for your support. Um, what's my favorite song in the hunting party? Um, right now, I really like Mark the Graves. Uh, I like the words, I like the music. Uh, so that was a really, just in general, uh, the Hunting Party was a really fun album to make. Um, the songs are really fun to play live. Um, we're so happy uh, that they've resonated so strongly with everyone um, who supports us. And um, right now, uh, my favorite is Mark the Graves. Uh, how about I type something? Um, maybe I could type something, and then you guys can re, um, re you guys can like copy and paste it retweet it or tweet it since this isn't a proper Twitter post but um, this is um, something you guys could maybe just retweet for me Uh, a lot of 
of people asking about uh, the making of the hunting party. Very relevant question. First um, episode went out Friday. First episode went out Friday. So you can look at it at youtube.com slash Lincoln Park. You go to youtube.com slash Lincoln Park. Um, first installment is up there. And uh, this album, again, was really, really fun. We had amazing collaborators. Um, and uh, our very talented uh, videographer um, was there to capture a lot of it. And you guys are the beneficiary. You get a chance to check that out um, of um, seeing what that was like. Uh, super, super cool process and glad we can share it with you. Um, how would I like to play a super old song live from before Hybrid Theory? Wow, that, that, that's going really far deep in the catalog, Hananator. Um, uh, I think we've broken out a few pre-hybrid theory songs, although they're few and far between. Maybe like a Reading My Eyes. Um, there was one called Fuse. There was one called Spark Marker. Uh, that's, a, uh, that's a cult classic. Spark, mark, spark marker. Also, uh, uh, is that alliteration or assonance? I always get them confused. I think that's alliteration. Spark marker. Um, okay. Uh, what inspired me to get in the music career? Um, well, I never thought about doing music as a career per se when I was young. I just loved playing music. I got my first guitar when I was about 12, and that was about 10 years ago. Um, and I've been playing ever since. Um, I just love playing music. Um, it's really fun. I would do it um, even if I had, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't my profession. I would still do it because I love it. Um, and I'm really grateful that I do get to do it as my career. And so are the other guys. I'm grateful I get to play with my friends um, on stage all around the world. And thank you guys for supporting us. Can I see that little guy, Mark? I think he wants to make an appearance. Yeah. Okay. So uh, little Brad wants to join the chat again. Um, and so he's going to answer the next question. Um, okay. Um, when did people start calling you Big Bad Brad? Um, well, people, people started calling me Big Bad Brad a long time ago when I wasn't as big. And it's particularly ironic now because I'm only four inches tall. Um, someone just commented, this is so fun with exclamation points. That's um, more of a statement than a question, but I thought it was worth sharing. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you think about that statement? Big Bad Brad? I think it's hitting the nail on the head, or as some people say, slightly on the nose. Okay, we're going to take a few more questions. Um, so for those of you joining our chat, um, get your last questions in, uh, because we want to end on a high note. Um, uh, what is my favorite movie? Thank you for asking. Um, so many great movies. I could tell you one of my favorite comedies um, is actually Coming to America with Eddie Murphy. Classic. One of my favorite comedies. Great. You can keep watching it over and over again. It's like reading War and Peace. You get something every time you experience it. Something different, something new. Layered. It's la it's layered. It's like an onion. Just keep peeling back the layers. Okay, two more questions. 
Two more questions. Um, people are asking about um, Berlin. Uh, spent a lot of time in Germany. Uh, Europe in general. We actually did a whole tour of Germany on the hunting party and it was uh, probably our widest uh, tour of Germany ever um, and uh, a function of all the support we have in that country and throughout Europe. Um, Europe has always been a fa fantastic place for us to tour. Um, and we've been lucky to be able to um, have huge shows and other places around the world, like South America, fantastic. Asia has always been so amazing to us. Um, we've even been to Africa, uh, certainly North America, great. What, what continents am I leaving out? Australia, amazing tours in Australia. Um, we haven't been to Antarctica. I think Metallica went there. Uh, yeah, I, I, I probably wasn't their biggest show that they played. But, but it was probably the coldest. I'm sure it was. Um, what's my favorite book? Um, I actually really do like War and Peace. That's a really pretentious answer. But I finished the whole book um, in uh, my younger years. Um, I didn't read it um, unprompted. Someone assigned it to me. But I loved the book. Um... Someone's asking, okay, last questions, and then we'll do our closing remarks. How about that? Best thing about playing shows. Um, great last question. The best thing about playing live shows is being able to share our music with people directly all over the world. Um, we're making an album, we work really hard on it. It's very insular. It's basically just the band and um, if there are other producers or engineers um, and literally takes place in a room with no windows. And this could go on for months. And so the ability then to pivot and be outward facing and share the music with people who give us so much energy and sing back, it's really such a, such a blessing and a gift and we're so grateful to all of you for, again, supporting the band over the years, um, supporting all the things that we're also involved with, like Music for Relief, um, and supporting this chat, supporting the LPU. Um, and uh, in closing, I would like to say that this was the by far the best chat I've ever done today. Um, uh, okay. Let's even go further and say this is one of the best chats ever. Ever. Not in the history of chats, but in the history of chats that I've been a part of, this is definitely in the top 20. Or five. Maybe top five. What do you, what do you think about that, Big Bad Brad? This was the absolute best chat I've ever done. And I want to thank everyone for joining me, and I will see you at the next one, if I get an invite. Good night, or good morning, or buenas noches, adios.